Omarosa, and she's here on the show promoting her book, which will be out in October, The Bitch Switch. It is a how-to guide for women. Um, so what else is in the book? You know, one of the keys for women is negotiating. 77% of women do not negotiate their salary. Yeah. So the boss says, your salary is 40000 women go, okay. I, on just general purpose, say no to every offer, the first offer, no matter what. Okay. Because people are never going to offer you their top. They're going to always come in with bottom. So I say no is the beginning of the negotiation. That's when you really start to put in the work to get what you want. I'm sure that there's some interesting morsels that we can pick up from the book. I mean, this is this is not my approach. Um, it, this might not be your approach, you know, the Omarosa way. Um, I feel like in, in many ways you are the stereotypical angry black woman that, that, that white America looks at us as. And I, I feel... But I would rather be ABW, angry black woman, than a buffoon. Yeah, well, no, that's I true. Rather, that's I true. would rather be ABW to that, That's true. And the truth of the matter is, I don't ever. But there's got to be some place in between, and but I we think always, we can But do. when women, black women in, in the workplace tend to speak up, they instantly say, oh, she's angry. I'm not angry. I'm pissed off about nothing. I'm young. I'm educated. I'm successful. They, and I represent you're, you're my rich. community. That's what you said on the BET event and, and I represent my community well. I give back more to my community than anybody that I know. Yeah. So if that's being e ABW, you're reinforcing stereotypes. And that's, that's important for you not to do. No, I said Because you don't how, know me. That's how, <laughs> you really don't. It's not exactly the type of... Reinforcing um, stereotypes listen, is you're, not you're good. Not, you're not my type, Omarosa. Uh, you know. I'm not a... Listen. And, 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 and trust me. Congratulations, and, and, and I, I applaud that. And, I applaud and, that. And, but don't you know, be fake, because what happens is you have guests on your show, and then you go on your radio show and talk smack no, instead of doing it while they're sitting I'm, on the couch. I'm doing it right here. So that's, you know, I don't have to be your type, but let, let, but let me be very clear. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. Let me see. Let me see. Been there, done that. <laughs> I don't, I don't Been there, done that. that. All right, hold on. <laughs> to do this show and go on my radio show and talk about anything. This but you've been doing it. You've been having people on and then you've been talking smack. So you know, the bottom line is, my book comes out in the fall. Buy it if you want to. Don't All if right. you don't. Watch the show if you want to. Don't if you don't. End of the show. Okay, Omarosa. <laughs> let's, let's talk about, I know you don't want to talk about the divorced ex-husband, but are you dating now? I date. I have a lot of fun. What types of men do you date? And what's oh, that conversation? I love like? beautiful chocolate brothers. I love strong brothers, educated brothers. I love it. Now, because I um I've seen you on a few red carpets and you know, you know, flipping through magazines and stuff like that, and you usually don't bring them out with you or it's, I don't it's just... I don't like to take my dates to work. Yeah. I, what I do is work. Yeah. And when I walk on the red carpet I have to be focused. I do what I do. My fans tune in to watch me. I'm going on my sixteenth, seventeenth show. Because they like it. Yeah. <laughs> now, you I wouldn't be here if I didn't have them. For a talk show, didn't For you? a talk show. You know, the reason I passed, it was being produced by the producers of Jerry Springer. And I had to make a decision. I know. That's the same thing I said. Um, I had to make a decision whether to go forward or not. And I made, <laughs> I made a decision. I enjoy doing talk show. I enjoy watching talk. Um, but... You know, you it's an interesting, to... it's an interesting world. And I still run my government affairs firm. I still do politics. Where are you I still do D.C. D.C. So you bought, um, you know, the implants for you, but you got stuff for your mother also. I heard your mother looks fantastic. We did I a makeover show. We did a total makeover in Discovery Health. And I wanted to do that so that people would know about plastic surgery. You're very open. Yeah. But there are celebrities who are not. Yeah. Now, did you have a nose job? No. It looks like you had a nose job. No. Oh, okay. No, I mean, I just looked at before and after. Honey, before and after. Before and after pictures. But, but <laughs> if I can suggest, because the only thing that I've had done to my face is a little Botox, I would suggest for you some wrestling. The lines stay. <laughs> A wig that doesn't sit off my head three inches. That would be my suggestion. <laughs> you know what, Omarosa? And on that note, thank you for coming on my thank show. You.